walk it all over the place. But that is a chicken dinner. It surely is. I'm in the middle of trying to get my Instagram set up. Couldn't pull up my phone fast enough to catch that. But um, that was a pretty sloppy uh, trade. The price behavior on that was very erratic. And um, I'm not really surprised because of the time of the morning that it is. You can actually see the time right here. It is uh, 420. I think I might still do an Instagram though. Let me see. Let me put this on pause for a second. By the way, my name is Mark Fuller, co-founder Team Alliance. This is the one a day challenge on Nadex. And um, this is day 111. Yesterday, I did spend a little bit of time, well, not even a little bit of time, towards the end of the day, after I did live training, I spent quite some time on the charts. Um, no opportunities presented themselves. This was actually the first one that I saw, and um, it immediately moved with speed against my strike price but then the market I guess once it moved under the strike price it accelerated back up and um, continued to move in the direction where my um, strike price was positioned so um, we saw the continuation happen after the fact and fortunately for me there was enough time remaining on the clock for that price action to push the candle back up and for me to get that winning trade so you know sometimes it works out that way um i didn't force my way into the trade because that's something that we don't do on team alliance what i did do is i um i took the trade and i moved a little and and not even a lot of time it was like maybe two seconds two seconds a little bit too fast i had two more seconds to wait and i did not wait and because of that, the, the price action did push down against my strike. It threatened my strike. It went under the strike, but it did pull through at the end. So fortunately, that did work out. Um, right now, it's very early in the morning. This is a very, I'm not going to say it's a dangerous time of the, 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 the day or the morning to trade during. But the movement of the market is much more volatile and there's much more potential for it to become erratic because there's way more volume um during this session so it's just something to be aware of definitely something to be aware of but i do like taking trades at different points in time throughout the day just so that you can see the differences between you know um when the market is open during certain market time frames like this right here represents the um I think this is the Asian session, if I'm not mistaken. Or is this the UK session? I don't even remember. 4.30. Yeah, going on 4.30 a.m. I think that this is moving into the London session, if I'm not mistaken. I, I have to check on that. But, I mean, either way, it doesn't matter. It really does not matter because when you apply our um, parameters and you apply our method of seeing the market to the market, you'll know how to navigate and to stay out of the market when the market does not give you permission to take the trade. So that's kind of what we do. We remain disciplined and we remain patient so that we don't take trade when we're not supposed to, basically. So, you know, every once in a while you might get caught up. But um, one thing that time and experience will do for you is it will ultimately help to guide you into making your decision with confidence. So when I take a trade, I'm confident in my decision, win or lose. And fortunately for me, you know, I'm able to pull through on trades that could have potentially went against me. That, you know, it and it has a lot to do with experience. So the more experience that you gain, the more acquainted that you become with the process that we use. And the more disciplined that you become with actually executing and applying the parameters that we use, the more consistent you're going to be. That's just, you know, part of 
what comes along with this training. But anyway, let me put this on pause for a second. Um, I'm going to pull up my thumbnail, pull up the spreadsheet real quick, talk about a couple of things, and uh, we'll take it from there. Hang on. All right, so let me, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the video so I can actually get some shut eye. Um, I'm going to talk about the spreadsheet. <clears throat> so we can see the uh, the New Balance 2029 right now based on the spreadsheet. I am ahead of schedule and we're gonna we're gonna talk about it so this is the spreadsheet here we are currently in week number 19 today being day number 111 the end of week 19 would be day 114 so we got another three days left until the end of week 19 and the way we know that, we take 19 and multiply it by 6, which is the number of days um, in the weeks that are broken down from the spreadsheet. So that gives us 114. Day 111 is uh, now three days away from being the end of this week. So according to the spreadsheet, the projection at the end of this week is 1810. And you can see I'm at 2029. So I am ahead of schedule. Um, actually at the beginning of next week which is going to be week 20 i'm actually going to scale up i'm going to scale up the contract size to two contracts so that puts me three weeks ahead because according to the spreadsheet you would be scaling up at the beginning of week 23 and instead of me being at the beginning of week 23 for the scale up I'm actually going to be at the beginning of week 20 for the scale up, which is next week. So another four days from now, three days will give us day 114 and then beginning on day 115, I'll be scaled up to the two contract level. OK, so, you know, I'm keeping track according to the spreadsheet, but I'm actually, you know, keeping track according to my account size. Because the spreadsheet tells you what account size you should have in order to scale up. So you know at what point to scale up <clears throat> based on what your actual account balance is. And that's how you determine at what point you should scale up your contract size. So if you just follow the, the money management built into the spreadsheet, you'll be right on track to um, accomplish everything that you see laid out on the spreadsheet because everything is built in. So you can see where you would be at um, just looking at an example of six months in, you know, you would be at two contract level. Um, and it really begins to accelerate from that point on. So you can see, you know, if you'll be at three contracts very soon and then at four, then at five, and it'll just continue to go on. So once you're about a year in, and a year does not take as long as you think it does. You know, I started this one a day challenge back in December. We're already in April. So, you know, I'm already in the 19th week of the challenge. And it went by like that. So we're all, you know, already one third of the way through. So anyway, um, once you get to the 52 week point, just by following the spreadsheet, sticking to one trade a day, applying the skill every day in the market you position yourself to be at the 20 contract level and 20 contract represents financially for you you know right around 300 bucks a day so this is very powerful what we're dealing with here on team alliance and it's important that you understand if you just stick to the basic format of what we do which is what i'm showing you in these videos this is the basic level the stress-free level you know, you're not stressed out worrying about taking a bunch of trades. You simply apply our parameters and our process and stick to the framework that we use. And when the trade comes, the trade comes. And, you know, the probability of it being a winning trade is so high that you end up winning all of your trades. That's how this works. So, again, you know, we're not guaranteeing that you're going to win all of your trades. But. You can see I'm following the framework. 
I'm following and I'm applying the parameters in every trade and every video that you see. And you see what has actually happened and what is actually happening right in front of your eyes. We're 111 days in, all winning trades, no losing trades. So that is a testament to what it is that we actually do and also what you're going to learn when you get into training with us. So I'm actually going to talk about that right now. Let me shoot over to my promo page. Um, I should be, I should have it up already. Let me see something. Yes, there it is. All right. So for 35 bucks a month, you get access to live training every night that the market is open. Um, we train from Monday. Well, Sundays, we typically get started around 745 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then Monday through Thursday, we typically will train um, 8.15 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the trainings are recorded. So you get access to all of the existing training videos as soon as you sign up. And in addition to that, we train live every night. Every night that the market is open, we're doing a live training. Um, we have a 24-hour Facebook group chat. Within that group chat, you will reinforce all of the knowledge that you're going to gain from the training videos and if you can attend the live training you know it's just constant reinforcement of the knowledge constant reinforcement that's going to build your skill constant reinforcement that is going to allow you to become disciplined and to learn how to execute patience because that's the primary skill that you're learning is really to be patient enough to wait for the market to ultimately put you in a profitable trade. Notice how I said waiting for the market to do it. In other words, you're not going out trying to get into trades. That's not what our framework is. We've actually reverse engineered the entire process. So instead of us being on offense, we're on defense. We just sit back and wait for the market to come to us. We're not going out trying to beat the market because that's impossible. You cannot beat the market with any level of consistency. The only thing that you can do is cooperate with the market and profit from it. That's what Team Alliance is all about. That's what we do. All right, so you want to get into training, reach out to me directly. You can send me a text message at this phone number here. Um, you can also reach out to me directly on Facebook. Send me a friend request. Let me know that you want to get into training with us. Um, I'll get you set up ASAP, and then we'll take it from there. All right? Mark Fuller, day number 111, one-a-day challenge on Nadex, Team Alliance. I'll see you guys soon in training. Talk to you. Take care.